A lot of you, including my mom, enjoyed the catalog video, so she gave me an even older one to look through. The 1956 Simpson Sears Christmas Catalog. You know, when Sears dropped The Simpsons, they really jumped the shark. So, we've got our satisfaction or money refunded. I wonder if that offer's still good. So, we'll definitely have some toys this time, you know, and all the, the best toys from 1956. Yep, yep, these are the best. Not creepy at all. Our very finest doll, which will stare into your soul. And these happy time dolls are into aerobics, I guess. She'll walk when guided, tilts her pretty head. This one's all set for a world cruise for 12 bucks and 1956 dollars. I'd rather take a world cruise, you know, in 1956, not in 2020. Watch for these three headliners on television. And whoa, she comes with a record. These are some real high-tech dolls here. Ooh, look at this. You can dream of baking in your three-piece kitchen unit. Even got some Pillsbury crap to bake in your almost real kitchen, which is you know, definitely your life goal, right? You creepy little girl. Baking definitely wasn't this girl's goal. She apparently just wanted to become this large and then smash a house. Gifts from Santa's pack. Vacuums and mops. Go to hell, Santa. But at least we can get a gumball machine with some probably really horrid gum. And this is for the enterprising young storekeepers. And get your kids into raising your other kids for you as quick as possible. Real value gift price. Swallow your soul. Swallow your soul. Oh, we've got some Disney toys with an easel and paint set. I assume this is like a smart easel and paint set, which connects to the Wi-Fi. Um, we got this Donald Duck pole toy, which is definitely how it looks. That's not a drawing. You can get a dumb doll with Mickey ears. That's great. For 69 dude cents, you can get this. Donald Duck Roadster? Kinda looks like Jiminy Cricket, but okay. I like that these are gift suggestions from Disneyland. Or it can just be a hot shot band like these stupid generic Archie wannabe losers. Ew! What? What? Ew! Get the, 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 take these away! Gross! I hate this thing. I, I just, I hate it. I absolutely hate it. But I, I like the demon panda, that's good. It's already stolen that little girl's soul, clearly. And um, if you want more stuffed animals to make sure your kids never sleep again, here's these monstrosities. You know what kids want. Things that look like they're so miserable, they just want to be put out of their misery. Or just, what the garbage is the matter with you 50s? This is a skunk with an ugly human face? Get that out of here! Amusing and interesting toys for little tots. Giant beads. Interesting. Or if you hate your children in a different way, get them Nightmare Clown or Clinically Depressed Pig. You seem awfully judgy for an ass in a diaper. And here's some more excitement. You know, the 50s were stupid. And here's Mickey on his favorite ride, the Crotch Killer. And uh, I really didn't want to know what Donald's BJ face looked like, but there you go. But um, you probably want to keep this away from your crotch. These are electric scissors. Wh will not cut any fingers. Sure, I bet these were super safe. You didn't even need bootlegs back then. Disney just made things that look so stupid it's hard to believe they were official. And really, why Why is Mickey dressed like that? <laughs> and we got this crappy little bowling set, which I'm sure caused many people to slip and fall on the balls. We got this pinball, which is just like the real thing. Mmm, bingo-matic. Well, I tell you, the excitement never starts here. The Skittle game? Taste the apathy. 
And then for only 139, you can play with Robin Hood. I'm gonna just keep Robin Hood far away from me, thanks. Whistling Arrow. I bet that is annoying to parents. Ooh, fun and games. Um, we've got the Dragnet game. Da, 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 fun. An old favorite. <laughs> <laughs> That's really sad to think they are already calling Monopoly an old favorite in 1956. Parade of 56 games, each crappier than the last. And I guess it wasn't Scrabble yet, it's just educational crossword. Amusing games. <laughs> well, I do remember playing these table hockey games back when, but... Not with a magnetic puck. I had to go back to the 50s for something that advanced. And this one's Canada's favorite, All-Star Hockey. I don't know why it's Canada's favorite, but such was the state of things back then, I guess. We got another giant compilation of crap, and then you can shoot things. Yay. We weren't concerned about safety back then, just... Whatever kind of gun you can get, yeah, give that to kids and let them shoot things. Awesome. And this one's Canada's least favorite hockey game. And then when you're annoyed with all that, you can tell the kids to go out back and throw things at each other. Well, here's a brand name for you. Roy Rogers with all his crappy cap guns. Woohoo! For the little monster. Here is the electronic sparking burp gun. That, that's the best thing they thought to call this. Wow. Couldn't they call this the electronic fire starting burp gun at least? We all know the real fun was at doing some good old wagon stacking. I mean, why just pull one wagon when you can pull three for the price of three? Okay, the Super 50s kid car is pretty sweet, but that cost 30 bucks in 1956, so I don't think any parents loved their kids that much. And then we have the fiberglass flying saucer. You know, about half of these kid toys were like subtle ways to do population control, weren't they? And here's the inexpensive gifts for 95 cents. And we have more the theme of boys getting things like guns or Western or vehicles. And then girls get baby and cooking crap. All right, call someone who cares, you stupid little idiots. With extensions, five people can speak in here in conference or privately for up to a mile. Wow. And here's the 50s version of the future with those super clunky robots. Oh, um, I I guess we're gonna have to be scared of those robots coming in and stealing our tractor jobs. Trains. Deluxe tool set, just like Dad's. Now you can be a tool just like Dad. Oh, I would love to see how crappy this projector is. I love even this toy isn't even trying to pretend that a farm set is exciting as they called it Lazy Day Farm. For the real excitement, of course, you need to dress up like Dork and Hood down here. A carousel on the back of a truck seems like a horribly unsafe idea, but I guess that fits right in with a lot of these 50s kids' toys. And hey, you should get your kids into mining and drugs real quick! And you know what? You should probably actually fill this cement mixer toy with real cement and see what happens. It'd be fun for the kids. And once that goes horribly, you can take the Greyhound bus to escape the police. Why are these 50s kids all the creepiest? Red police cars? This place is starting to freak me out! And, um, wow. Look at how far that toy can go with the remote. I really hope it's strong enough to pull the kid over. 100-piece <laughs> Army and Air Force Training Center. I didn't know that their training involved just picking up missiles and tossing them at each other. We call this fight a Kid Kid, and he's gonna throw the fight to Kid 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 because that's always how these boxing stories go! And you are the light of my life. What the... Have yourself a creepy little Christmas. Let your heart explode. I'll give it to you, 50s. You knew how to make everything just the creepiest. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Nightmare will guide you straight to hell. A gift that's 
different, designed to teach neatness in the young cow hand. <laughs> I don't really know how this teaches neatness. I guess the cow hand will be really excited because it's on a horse. Oh, and that spice is still old, even back in the 50s. What is going on here? Did the demon dog make the cat sick? Well, at least this is extremely progressive for the 50s. I didn't expect to see a same-sex couple in here. Get your hair beehive for only $44.95! Suggestions for a gay surprise for children and missus on Christmas morn. Tee-hee! This Christmas, kill him and get away with it. Yeah, there's a face that says happy if I've ever seen one. Get the stretchies! Are you not feeling dorky enough? Get yourself some Dale Evans and Roy Rogers socks. I knew it! Boba Fett was really a blue cat the whole time! And if you want to be as annoyed as this panda, get these puppy slippers. Ooh, these are specially designed for active boys. Where's the ones for lazy boys? Guess it's not the 80s yet. And for those of you complaining they didn't show the women's underwear section in the 80s catalog, here you go! Ooh, that's a lot of lag for the 50s. Scandalous. And there's the Madonna bra for ya. Even this drawing is embarrassed to be wearing this. Look at that sexy nightwear, guys! Ah, uh, we can have the crappy colorized pictures of actual models and stuff like jackets, but it had to be just drawings for such provocative things like night shawls. How come every one of these women looks like a super villain? For a Christmas surprise, something new and smart to wear. Yeah, I've never seen anything smarter. Guess they couldn't get actual models to wear these stupid hats because they wouldn't be caught dead in them. And that's gross and tacky, stupid 50s. A Christmas Coat Story. I think that's a sequel even less popular than A Christmas Story 2. Whoa, look at this lingerie. Impressed? Teens. I don't want to buy any teens. Get out of here, fifties. Ha ha ha, we all had a jolly good laugh at that. Sister lookalikes, were they actually into that in the fifties? So back then it was like, well, one of us is going to have to change if we aren't dressed exactly the same. Snugabye. I'd mock this, but this kind of seems like things adults would buy for themselves these days. And for the young Ernst Stavro Blofeld in the making, my name's John, impressed ladies? Practical gifts for the boy on your list. You know, your 50-year-old boy. And, uh, the, the dork boy who definitely doesn't actually have anyone to give a present to. For when you're old at heart. Wow, your kids too can be this ugly. I sure could use a burp gun. Christmas gift ideas in Boyville? There was no joy in Boyville this year. Have very low aspirations for your kid? Get them a shoe shine station this year. Practical gifts for the men. For when they have their super straight hangouts in their long underwear and smoke. What the hell happened there? Kingsway shirts in the latest colors, and then immediately discolor them with your stinky tobacco. And then get some more robes that you can smoke, or talk to your friends about smoking on the telephone. Yeah, just two buds about to shave each other. Maybe this guy's possessed by Jason Voorhees. Bury me in my flannel. Give her the gift this Christmas of dying young. It's a dork off, gentlemen. It's a dork off. Hey, do you think smoking's bad for you? Oh, you're such an idiot. Man, this is like cool and cooler here, isn't it? And we got the hockey section here with the super old team logos. Big Chief TP Play Tent. Not going to be doing that one these days. Anyway, more guns. And this kid can drive by on his super fake bike to be the target. 
Oh jeez, it's like Christmas vomited on your curtains. New beauty for your bedroom at Christmas time. After that, you gotta throw these out and get new ones. More carpet for your bathroom, but hopefully that's just the seat cover and the rug. And here's some more practical gifts, which will definitely not malfunction and catch fire. Nothing was new in the 50s, was it? Uh, actually, your perspective is off because it isn't any cool. Whoa, these stupid looking scales are an exclusive. Pretty sweet. Dad will love storing some warm Coca-Cola in this cabinet. If your kids won't go to sleep, tell them the demon panda will get them. Whoa, manual phonographs. Fun. Now we're getting into the sweet tech of 56 with these super sweet radios and reel-to-reel -reel tape recorders. All right, look at all the new televisions. Silverstone Hi-Fi Super Entertainment Center, Razor Sharp 21-inch Pictures, Spine-Tingling Hi-Fi Sound. I bet. Apparently these televisions were mostly for close-up shots of women's faces back then. Probably the closest these smoking dorks could ever get to a woman. Damn it, Sears, show me an actual photograph of the stupid old food, not a drawing. Oh, here's some more fun. Oil space heaters. I could never ask for a better Christmas gift than a new oven. Handsome and practical plastic toilet seats. We're calling toilet seats handsome, are we? Sears just went from suck to blow. Simpson Sears pays all shipping charges with Simpson Sears Prime. Wow, can you imagine if someday they make a cordless razor? Okay, we got some men's jewelry here with goalie cufflinks. And here's some Roy Rogers and Dale Evans watches to go with your dorky socks. And look at that Superman watch, pretty styling. And with these cameras, you can take pictures as phony looking as these. Seriously, um, if you want to try and sell us on a camera, you probably shouldn't put a picture of a guy holding it who looks like a gremlin. Well, here's a recognizable thing. Everyone enjoys a Viewmaster. I do enjoy a Viewmaster. Oh no. You could actually order chocolates through the Sears catalog. These were probably terrible. That's that really plasticky tasting chocolate. Ugh. Oh, and if you want to take it to the next level, of um, playing with your life, order a fruitcake from the Sears catalog. Oh, the Alamo. I almost forgot. 